or second year wide receiver for the Chiefs. He does a little bit of everything for them. If you have been following along with breathless tweeting around training camps this summer, you've seen a lot of this. Alex Smith deep to Tyreek Hill for what would be a long score. Uh, Tyreek Hill last year did not average a bunch of yards per catch. I think he had 83 total targets last year. We are all projecting a rise in volume for Tyreek Hill. We're also projecting a regression in touchdowns for Tyreek Hill because it felt like every time he touched the football last year, he scored. Potentially a regression in touchdowns. He scored 12 last year, three of which were on special teams. Correct. uh, Three of which were rushing, and then he, he got six. Uh, via the pass, I think it may be a slight regression, but maybe it cuts down to, you know, 8 to 10, something like that. I think like that's that. a lot, too. That's a lot. Right? I mean, yeah. you look at his usage last year, three end zone targets. That was 121st yeah. in the NFL, one carry inside the 12-yard line. And there, we just got the report yesterday, they're going to pull him off some returns as well. Yeah. And by the way, he was the first... Uh, he was the first player to return more than two kicks in a season since I, I think it was 2012. Yeah. So that even if he kept his return job, he wasn't going to score three that way. So I agree with the volume going up, but the touchdowns I think are going to come down quite a bit. Maybe six. Okay. Probably around six. Was six, eight. I mean, the, the, he, that's to me that's baked into his current draft day price. I think everyone's expecting touchdown regression here, but you're expecting an increase in volume, and I, he's going to touch the ball a lot. So you have a player with that kind of skill set. And by the way, Andy Reid, who I think is one of the most creative offensive minds in the NFL has now had an entire offseason to sort of figure out how to use his new toy. Last year, you're not sure what you have. Tyreek Hill was drafted, what, in the fifth round? right? Mm-hmm. I mean, there were some off-the-field issues mm-hmm. with Tyreek Hill, obviously. Yeah. Okay. And, and yeah. so didn't know exactly what he had in Tyreek Hill, the player. Again, we're not talking about Tyreek Hill, the person. We're talking entirely about him from a fantasy football perspective here. And, and Tyreek Hill, the football player... Uh, he didn't know what he had, and then he gets on the field, and you see see the kind of speed he has and the kind of ability he has. And so now, I think, and I, I think that certainly played into the factor of why they released Jeremy Macklin, the confidence they have in Tyreek Hill to become more than just a one-dimensional deep threat.